Tony Adebola is my name. Um, a lot of people call me Mr. T. <laughs> uh, I'm a businessman, but I have a strong, uh, very strong inherent passion for music um, and anything that's musical, the marketing of it, the production of it, the delivery of it, and all of that. When I fall, you're always there. When I'm on man. I also have a concert that I host like four times every year. Um, I'm a husband, a father of three. <laughs> um, been in business for a while, but um, my, my, one of my biggest passions is, is basically music and, and the production of it. And um, I love toys like <laughs> bikes. <laughs> Very powerful bikes, uh, powerful automobiles. Um, I don't know where that came from, but I, I think I just like being, I like being different. I like things that are, that are powerful um, without <clears throat> making the lives of other people uncomfortable. Um, I just like being different. I like being different from everybody else. I like to do something that not everybody is doing. And I think that's one of the uniqueness that I think everybody should have. I think everybody should have something about them that's different from what everybody else does or has. It's, 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 a, it's a sad development, what's happening to music. You know, you know it, it's really sad. And I, don't, I think it's just going to keep getting worse. Because right now, I don't know whether there's any governments that will come out and say, OK, stop doing this, stop doing that. I really don't know. But it, it, it's sad, you know. And I hope that people like myself and a few other people will join forces to say, you know what, let's keep doing clean stuff. You know, coming down to the content of to Nigerian music, I think there's been a lot of, you know, there, there's been a lot of achievements. And there's been also, like, a lot of minuses in the sense that, um, Nigerian music is getting a lot of international attention. Uh, we're, we're doing a great deal. I, I think Nigerian music is, 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 is getting to a point where we can say it's, it's being internationalized. And I, I'm really proud of the Nigerian artists. Unfortunately, though, it's a lot of good music, good sound, but terrible content. We have, we're, we have no messages, really. I mean, when you listen to what the young people are singing around nowadays, I love the music. You have beautiful sound, you know, things that are really, you know, the sound, the producers are doing a fantastic job. But the songwriting is crap, you know, and it's, it's causing a lot of people to want to live a life that they can't afford. You know, there's no content, there's nothing, you're not, you, there's no message, really, you know, and they're copying all these other Western people who, you know, you watch videos, all they're talking about are dollars and bling bling and naked ladies, and that's what everybody wants to sing about, unfortunately. Maybe I'll say at this point that I like Two Faces music in a lot of times because of his storytelling and the fact that there's content usually in his message, in his, in his music. And I think a lot of young people should emulate that. Have something to say. It could be a political message, it could be a, 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 social, a social, socio-economic message, it could be a social, something that has to do with what's going on in people's lives. Let your songs have content, content that encourage, content that inspire, Contents that challenge, you understand, and be known for something, not just kankiti, 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 and then you know the music goes on, and you know there's really nothing, just entertainment and, and sound and, and noise. They're, they're, you're going to have early years where you're making money, but there's, there's something my pastor always talks about, which is residual incomes, monies, monies that you know you make whether you're working or you're not working. In, in the world, you know, in the world of civil service and other things, they call it pensions and stuff like that. If you're a private, uh, if you're an, if you're somebody who's who isn't working for like a particular organization or the government, pensions are not things that you can earn. So you have to start thinking about what's going to happen after your career. You understand, or even during your career. As a musician, there are moments when you're making money, there are moments when you're not. So what happens? You know, um, I, I, I'm, I'm the, but even for guys who are in my church, who are musicians in my church and outside of church, I, I still encourage everybody to have multiple investments. My pastor talks about multiple streams of income. I always challenge people to have multiple streams of, in, of income, you know, so that it's not just your business, it's, sorry, not just your music, you know. And with every amount that you have, 
or you earn, think the future. You understand? I mean, I, fine, I'm an entrepreneur right now, but I'll tell you one thing. Even now, I'm using this, uh, these days when I'm seeing making money, I'm investing into things that will generate money for me long after I've stopped working. That's why I'm thinking. I need businesses that can survive me, that can survive beyond me, that can survive beyond my kids. So I think musicians should also, also think like that. You're earning money now maybe from endorsements and stuff, and that happens only with, with secular singers anyway. Gospel music people are not making, <laughs> are not really making money if you ask me. So the money that you make, whether you get from endorsements or record deals or whatever, record sales, whatever, think about putting it somewhere and be prudent. A lot of, you know, this whole flamboyant life, earn the money first, you understand, and then eventually think the future. That's what I say to every musician, you know, the time will come when you can't sing as good as you're singing, somebody better than you will. The, the, the turnover, very few artists stay long, you know, for decades and they are still raining and their still, records are still selling, very, very few. <laughs> so every opportunity you get, invest in something that when the music is gone, you're still, you're not, you're not begging, you know, you're not, you're not running around and selling assets. I always suggest that, have multiple series of, no matter how small, even if it's a barber shop. <laughs>